Alright folks, welcome back. I want to say a quick shout out to our new subscribers. Thanks for being here. I hope I can help you learn a little something. Um, today we've got uh, something involving some snow buckets because we've been having a bunch of snow uh, where I live. So I thought it would be kind of a good theme for us. Especially with Christmas being just right behind us. So um, we'll uh, go ahead and get straight into it and show you what we got today. Alright, so this is uh, this is going to be a bubble column. Uh, clearly, you can see that there are bubbles up here in the air, uh, but there is nothing surrounding them. If I were to step on the pressure plate here, it'll activate the switch, and then these bubbles would move upwards instead of down, because the soul sand creates an upward momentum column, and the magma block creates a downward momentum column. Uh, so if I do this, turn it on, and then step in it, we get shot all the way to the top, just like that, and then once the magma block takes back into effect, it'll bring me back down. Uh, and this can go up as high as you like, uh, but this is uh, this isn't like a multiple floor situation. This is just a a bottom floor, and then it'll take you to whatever floor you need to go all the way at the top. Uh, but uh, I will try to work on getting some kind of multi-floor system set up using this one. Uh, as I think it could be pretty cool. Um, obviously, just a bubble column is not redstone, so I added some redstone, which is a block swapper. Um, so I will show you guys how to build this, and if you don't need to see the tutorial, then thanks for stopping by. Alright folks, let's get straight into it. So for this tutorial video, you're going to need uh, one soul sand block, one magma block, uh, just some building blocks of choice. You will definitely need two redstone comparators, a pressure plate to activate the whole machine. You will need one redstone repeater, uh, about four redstone dust, uh, one obsidian block or any other block that is immovable by pistons. Uh, examples are the obsidian, crying obsidian, in stone, um, and then you will need you don't need these glass pieces, but I like to use glass to build my bubble column. And then uh, we'll use two redstone torches, two sticky pistons. You won't need this many buttons, but however tall your bubble column is going to be, uh, buttons will make it a lot easier to hold the water in place instead of uh, creating a hole with just blocks all around it. This will be a little bit easier. You are going to need a bunch of water for the bubble column or Alternatively, uh, instead of using water, you could use one water bucket at the top and then a bunch of kelp filling the entire column. So once you break the kelp, it'll turn the entire bubble column into each block has a water source block in every individual square. Um, that is the alternative. We're not going to do it that way in this video. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there if you need to see something like that. Um, and then we're going to need um, several powder snow buckets. <clears throat> best way to get these are to go into any area where it is snowing uh, high altitude I think over 160 Y level is pretty good uh, as long as it's snowing you can just place cauldrons down in that area and then some random game tick uh, the cauldrons will fill with snow and then you can take a empty bucket and pull the powder snow out of it um, so that's that's all we're pretty much gonna need for this build so let's get straight into it So to start, we want to come up a couple of blocks here. So let's make a little pillar here. We'll say we'll go this tall and we'll just make a little platform here like that. And we're going to have this stick out about two because our redstone dust is going to be placed here. And we're going to have comparators running into it on the right or out of it from the right and then into it on the other side so that it looks like this. We're going to place a block here, and then we'll put the pressure plate on top of that block. So as soon as you step on the pressure plate, you should see some signal go into the comparators. Yep, so that's exactly what you're looking for. So from here, what we want to do is grab a block, and we're going to place it one in front of the first comparator here on the right side. Um, and then we're going to grab our torches, place a torch on the back side, just like that. We're going to grab our sticky pistons place a sticky piston on top of it like so and it should extend like that which is exactly what you want we're going to place a magma block attached to that sticky piston there 
We're going to place one obsidian block on the other side of our pressure plate block, like that. Uh, I'm not sure what's been happening, but uh, my, my design for this recently broke as these pistons keep pushing this block and it keeps breaking everything. So uh, to fix that, we just place one obsidian block or any immovable block on the other side of your pressure plate here and on the other side of the magnum block, just like that. So from here, we want to take a redstone repeater and coming out of this torch on this side, place it like that, facing away from the torch, and it's going to go into a building block of choice that and then you're going to put a redstone torch on top of that just like that and it should turn off then what we want is some more building blocks here I'm going to place one here like that and then going to place a redstone dust like this and then we want to place uh, one more this block isn't necessary but in order to get this placed, you might need to place a block so go ahead and do that you can break it if you want to, no big deal. And then you're going to place one redstone dust in the center of all this. See how it's connected like that? We don't want that to be connected, so we need to cut off that supply with one more block right on top of it. And then the last piece you need is the soul sand block right on the left side of the magma block. Make sure it's, it's on your other sticky piston. Then that is pretty much the entire build for this redstone circuit here. If you press the pressure plate, it should uh, do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is pull the magma block back, spit the soul sand out, and then retract the soul sand and spit the magma back out. And that's it. We have created our redstone circuit for this contraption. So now the hard part is done. So now let's get to the easy part. Well, we will build our bubble column. So to start that, we're going to need to place some blocks just like that. And then just build this up as tall as you want it. Just keep in mind the more blocks you use, you'll need more more stone, or not stone buttons, but any button that you're going to use, and water buckets, and so on and so forth, powdered snow and whatnot. So then we'll make one more set out here on the side, and then just go all the way up on one of these sides, but not both. Then we're going to take our buttons, and we're just going to place a button on each one of these glass blocks in the front. Alright, so once we have this done, we're going to grab our water buckets, powdered snow buckets, get all this off there, and you want to create a water source in every one of these blocks, going all the way to the top. Then we want to take our snow buckets, and after we make sure that there are bubbles in here, we want to take our snow buckets and then fill this bubble column with snow. And you're going to go all the way until you hit this last piece right here. You're going to leave one, uh, otherwise this whole thing breaks for some reason and it doesn't create uh, the air column like uh, with the switch involved. If you press the switch, nothing happens. So. Once we have left one piece of water source at the bottom on top of the magma block, the rest of these are going to be filled with snow. We want to take our building blocks again and do one more layer up, place one more button, and then put one more water source right at the top. And so it'll flow all the way down again. And it's going to look just like a regular bubble column again. Except for this time, you're going to remove this top piece right here. You can do this with any block. You just place the block, the water will go away, break that block again, and you've got an air column, except for one piece down here. So if we were to step on it, it should shoot us to the top. So there we go. Now we can break every one of these all the way up and it remains and there you have it you have a bubble column with uh, 
pulse extender and block swapper to an air bubble column that goes up and down. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so as it helps the channel and hopefully you'll learn something in the future. Thanks. Have a great day.